Back, back at it again, guys. Out doing some early winter fishing. Temps have dropped. We've got some really, really cold nights. I really feel like the fish are in their winter patterns already. So I'm changing over my baits to winter baits, my rods. My whole setup will be geared towards more slow, lethargic, finicky, finessey fish. So speaking of winter baits, I'm gonna be throwing the blade bait, Ned rig, drop shot, football jig. Other than that, I'll feel out the rest as I go and adjust as I go if I need to. So that's the deal. Out on a Pelican Bass Raider, out at Clapper Lake, this is a smaller body of water. That is completely intentional. I don't feel like tackling a large body of water today. Just trying to get on one bass. And I mean it. I mean, I really want to get on one bass today. So stay with me, guys. Let's get one in the boat. The idea today is just use my graph and troll around this lake. I don't have a lot of patience. I'm big on sight fishing, so I like to fish structure or cover and that's where my most comfort is graphing around looking for fish I, i'm going to develop that skill a little bit better and that patience but that's what i'm going to do today i'm going to graph around just really go around this lake i already graphed through that whole area over here didn't see any fish so i didn't stop and i passed some nice lay downs and some things that i normally have a hard time passing up but we're passing it today, guys. Got off to a late start. It is 12 noon right now, so don't have a lot of time to play with. Park closes at 4.45, which means I need to be off the water around four so I can be out the gate. Just had a bite. Oh, let's see, guys. Oh, we got our first winter bass right here on the drop shot. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I've been waiting for this bite all day. It's been two hours. Let's get this guy in the boat. Let's get this guy in the boat. Let's get this guy in the boat. Oh, he's a nice one, too. He's a nice one. Ah, oh, just pulled up at this spot. Saw some fish on the graph and said, All right, let me throw the drop shot. I've been throwing the blade bait all day. Apologies guys, I did not have my chesty on when I caught this fish and it's a nice one. Look at that. Winter bass right here on the drop shot. I've been throwing the blade bait all day, to really trying to get my first blade bait fish and figure out how to fish that bait. Look at that, right in the roof of the mouth. Perfect hook set. This guy is about a pound and a half, really chunky belly, look at that. Let me get my pliers, get this guy free. Of course, I've been running my GoPro all day and as soon as I turn it off, I catch a fish. I'm gonna give this guy some water really quick and then show him off to you a bit. Here we go, guys. Winter bass at its best. Super excited to catch this. I've been grinding two hours, absolutely nothing. Pretty beautiful fish, decent belly. He's feeding up. Hopefully I can get on some more down there. I went the entire length of the other half of the lake and absolutely nothing. I said, let me just beeline down here and see if I can change my luck. And I did right here. All right. Ah oh, man, I appreciate you guys. You got the skunk off the boat in a big way. This water is cold, so I'm not gonna put my hand in there too long. There he goes. So guys, I had to pull out the good old trusty drop shot to get it done. Really, really wanted that blade bait bite but wasn't able to pull it off. They just weren't feeling it. So used the graph, located them, threw the drop down there. I did drop a buoy marker because I knew my boat would drift out the zone. So I got a buoy marker approximately where I caught them. I know it's not exact. So I'm gonna head back over there, see if I can pick up another one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, man, I felt a ton of little bites <laughs> and I, I just let it sit there and uh, let me show you what I got. There you go. Little tiny yellow perch. Fish number two on the Ned rig. Almost as, almost as big as that TRD worm right there. Still one of the most beautiful fish here in Maryland. That fish was so small and light. I didn't even know it was on there. I have another fish on. Oh, no, it wasn't. Thought I did. That felt really weird. Could the bite actually turn on late in a day like this? There we go. On the Ned Rig. Ah, this feels like a bass. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Yes. Nice fish, nice fish. Nice fish. He's pulling. He's pulling. He's pulling. There you go. There you go. Oh man, the bite has turned on late in the day. 
It is 3.30. I've got about 30 more minutes left and pull this guy in the boat. Look at that. All right, let me get these gloves off. It's a beautiful green back fish right here. Nice colors. Look at that. It's got a little black spot right there. I love those little birthmarks on them. Ned rig, nose hook. Popped right out. These fish are cold. I literally stood up out my seat and said, I need to target that little bit of green grass, whatever that standing grass is right there. I casted my Ned rig right next to it. A couple of shakes and he absolutely took this. Awesome. Appreciate you. Seems like the bite has turned on late in the day. All right. Definitely felt a little thump on that one. I was shaking it and it just went, gotta love that feeling right there. That's when you know that fish is on. I'm just popping it out the grass. Whenever I feel it get a little muddy, just give it a hard pop. It shakes off whatever's. Oh, I won't shake a stick though. Mm, got another one. What is going on? Oh, he got off. <laughs> You know what, guys? I think I buried my hook too much into this worm. I, I literally just did it and I said, ah, uh, it'll pop out. The hook is out, but wasn't able to land that fish. Oh my gosh. Found a little hot spot, man. Bite turned on in this corner late in the day. I really only have a little bit of time left to fish. I didn't even feel the bite. Literally, I just raised up, it felt heavy and my line was moving to the side, so didn't have the best hook set, but these are our light wire hooks. They pretty much penetrate with any kind of pressure. All right, I just passed a bunch of fish that look like they might be crappie. Let's see if I can pick one off on the way back to the boat ramp. I literally have to get off the water in seven minutes, but I can't resist what I just saw. So I'm just tossing the blade bait in there, jig it around. Oh, is this a fish? <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> Third species of the day. A little, little tiny bluegill. My first blade bait catch. <laughs> Too bad it's not a, a whopping huge bass. There you go. Quick release. That's probably what I saw then. Let me try one more time to see if I can grab a crappie, maybe get four species in the boat today. I'm literally running out of time, literally running out of time here. That fish was so light, I couldn't even feel it. Another fish, what is this? Oh my gosh, another one. Okay, I think I found a school of bluegill and yellow perch. All right, fish number five, nothing in size, but still something nonetheless. I hate when perch do this. They seem to be the only fish that swallow trebles where all three are in their mouth. Makes it really hard to get out. Let's see if I can get my pliers and get this guy free. Back in the water. All right, there you go. Another little dinky perch. Love these beautiful little fish. I'm gonna let you go, guy. All right. Never caught on a blade bait, now I caught two. Sun is about to be completely set right over those trees and it's gonna get dark soon. I still gotta get the boat back to the ramp and packed and tucked away and back on the road. All right guys, that just about does it. Nice little day of fishing. I mean, I was able to get on some fish. It took a while at first. I didn't catch my first fish till maybe two, three hours in. Only fished for about four, four and a half hours, but had a good time figuring out some stuff. The winter bite can be tough. Caught on three different baits, the drop shot, Ned Rig, and the blade bait. Got my first blade bait catches today. Wasn't any bass on it, but maybe next time. Picked up that tiny bluegill and a perch on the blade bait, but at least it gave me an idea. I was able to at least feel what the bite feels like on that. I've heard a lot about it and whatnot, but to actually catch on it, one, teaches me a little bit and also too gives me a little bit of confidence with that bait. I will be throwing that some more. Of course, this is a time of the year to break out that blade bait. If you haven't, get at it, learn something new if you haven't already. Anyway, guys, I am speed talking through this outro because I'm way past my time and the gates will close in less than 30 minutes and I gotta get back to the boat ramp and get on out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a blast. The winter bite is in full effect, but still get out there guys. 
get that rod, get that reel, get those baits going and start fishing. It's a whole nother season about to kick off right now. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button below, tap that notification bell. Also follow us on Instagram and Facebook for real time updates about the Bass Brothers. With that being said, guys, stay safe out there. See you on the next video.